seating your Salesforce Sandbox using the Replicate feature. Sandbox testing is the perfect tool for quality assurance and testing. However, manual Sandbox seating is time consuming and tedious. Optimize your Sandbox testing, minimize errors, and speed up your QA cycles with Cloud Allies Automated Sandbox Seating, a part of our Salesforce backup solution. The Cloud Ally Replicate feature enables you to copy your data or metadata from your backup snapshot to a Salesforce Sandbox. The tool has a wide range of options, and you can choose whether to copy all of the data or just selected objects, to apply various functions on the data or to populate sandboxes in other Salesforce environments. How to seed your sandbox. From the home page, click the Salesforce backup task. Click replicate. By default, data is selected. In this video, we're going to demonstrate replicating your data, but the metadata option is very similar. Choose the snapshot date. If more than one backup was performed on the selected date, choose a backup time. You can choose whether you want to replicate all data objects or select the objects to replicate. Replicating the full organization. Select the destination of the replicated data. You can replicate the data to a sandbox of the original organization, or you can send it to a sandbox of a different organization. You can unmark the checkbox automatically disable all validation rules, triggers, and processes if you want these elements to be enabled in the replicated data. Click Replicate to create the replication task. You can view the progress of the task in the Replicates tab of the backup page. Replicating multiple parent objects. This option gives you the ability to be selective about which objects you want to replicate. Click the checkbox Include Attachments if you want the restored data objects to contain all original attachments. The Hierarchy Depth field refers to the objects that are dependent on the selected objects. By default, the Hierarchy Depth is set to zero, meaning only the selected objects will be replicated. But you can select up to seven levels of hierarchy. Filtering. On the next screen, you have the opportunity to narrow down the data being replicated by filtering each object. For example, you could pick 200 of the newest records. Or, you can use the powerful Salesforce Object Query Language, SOQL, to build a query. You can use comparison operators, logical operators, and you can search for null values using the null keyword. As an example, you can look for all account table records that include a phone number with the query, phone is not equal to null. When you are done, click Next. If you opted to anonymize data, on the next step, you'll be able to precisely configure the anonymization of the replicated data. See the link to the How to Anonymize Your Salesforce Sandbox Data at the end of this video for further details. From here, it is the same as replicating the full organization. Select your destination and click Replicate. Cloud Ally Sandbox Seeding feature provides these benefits to your developers. Automate sandbox seeding to test new features before developers implement them in production. Quickens development and QA cycles with optimized and secure test data. Ensures compliance with built-in support for customizable data anonymization. In this video, you learned how to seed your Salesforce Sandbox by replicating either the data or the metadata of a backup snapshot of the production environment. Click on the links after this video to learn about how to compare your Salesforce data or how to anonymize it. Thanks for watching.